Welcome to the Florist Review online video featuring design techniques for the professional florist. I'm Leanne Kessler from the Floral Design Institute and today I want to share with you a creative technique for cremation tributes. The base of the design is a standard 15 inch wreath ring from the Oasis Company. It's just been altered a bit to allow for the draping. To do this, begin by removing the plastic tabs. Separate these out, and this will allow you to remove the foam, so then you can change the plastic. Once you have the bare wreath, you want to cut it. I use a table saw or a hand saw and cut it into two pieces, not equal. You want the larger piece in the back, smaller in the front. Then using a drill, two holes, one on each side and on the bar larger piece as well. Then zip tie those together. Just put them back to back, feed your zip tie through, pull it tight, and repeat that three more times. When you're done, you have a perfect shelf to be able to sit right on the table. Once you have it anchored, go ahead and cut the ends off. You don't want them to be that long. Then you can go back and replace the foam. Now it won't be the same sizes because remember this one's larger, this one's smaller. So I start on one side come around and then start on the other side and then you're going to cut one in half to place it in. So you just have to adjust, then go back with your clamps, secure it in place, and then once you have everything secured in place, do a double check by wrapping with waterproof tape just to ensure that nothing can come loose. If you like this technique, you can do this part way in advance and have several of them sitting on the shelf. Then when it's time, soak it in warm water with flower food and start flowering. Bring some up for line, drape some down for movement, and then pave across the body. Now it's your turn. Take a look at the magazine, tear out the picture, post it in the back room for everyone to see. Now you know the technique. Just add your own creativity.